Hi guys, my name is Colleen. Welcome to Good Dog Grooming. Today's video is everything you need to know to put a fresh sanding head on your Dremel. So a lot of people ask, when is it time to replace this sanding drum head? So for the most part, the middle of the band here will start to wear down. The sand grains will actually wear off and you'll start to see paper. It'll get bald in the middle there. Here's a comparison. So you can kind of see it's a little more intact and complete. Now this one, I would have dragged out its use a little bit longer but the paper actually physically started to peel off and it became like a weed whacker, so it's definitely time to change this one. So all you need is a replacement new head and a tool to remove, not remove, but to loosen the screw on the top. There's a tool that comes with your Dremel. It's a multi-tool. This side is the wrench, this side is the screwdriver, so we're gonna use that screwdriver there. I just wanna point out that you can use almost any small screwdriver, flathead or Phillips head, all right? Here's some examples I pulled out of my toolbox just to show that you have something somewhere in your house, in your garage. All of these, even this bigger looking one, will work. For the purposes of this demo, I'm gonna go ahead and use the little multi-tool that comes with it. All right, now I'm gonna loosen this screw, but I'm not gonna remove it. Let's say we do about mm, two whole turns, two and a half, three, something like that. Because, go ahead and pull this off now. When you loosen that screw, that loosens this rubber drum, okay? What it does is this plate squeezes down when it's tight and it makes this drum expand and kind of get fat in the middle. And that expanding pressure is what holds the drum head on. Now, most Dremel sets come with an accessory pack, at least like my small Dremel came with this bag. It had about six in it. And there was a variety of grits. So here is a finer grit over here and a coarser grit. I favor the coarser grit. Now the finer is probably about 120 grit sandpaper and the coarser is a 60 grit sandpaper. These are both good for dremeling dog's nails. I would favor this finer, which is really a medium grit for smaller dogs. And I favor the coarse for bigger or all dogs if you can control the pressure and use lighter pressure for dogs with smaller nails. So I do favor the coarse grit you can buy these on Amazon. A little bag of six of these I recently saw for the 120 grit is like $2.50 for six of them. And a little bag of six of the coarser ones were $4 on Amazon. So very, very cheap, extremely affordable if you don't happen to already have the pack. Now, they can be a little funky to get on. You kind of gotta wiggle it and muscle it on, okay? and you want this drum to align with the rubber entirely. So let me finish pushing over here. Okay, see so yeah, I almost got it as low as I want. Now I'm gonna tighten down the screw. You want it pretty tight, all right? That's the long and short of it, guys. That's how you change out that Dremel head. I'll put links in the description to these replacement head packs on Amazon. Thanks so much for watching.